and I served two years two years in Washington D.C. at Eighth and I Marine Barracks. Mm -hmm. And so every time I would go home to visit my mom in Ohio or relatives down in Virginia where I was born, I'd take a different road. And I just stopped there one early morning at the courthouse at that light and just sat there in a few minutes and just looked and said, this is a nice little town. I said, that would be a nice place to live someday. Because I figured I may have come back to D.C. area or North Virginia area because where I lived at, jobs were going away because of mostly factories and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. So when did you come back and actually live here, start living here? 1985. And you've been here ever since? Been here ever since. Um, so what was the town like in 1985? Quiet. And just a small town feeling. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was nice to raise kids up here. They played sports. And... Uh, it was it was a nice nice place, nice and quiet. So you raised a family here. You raised a family here, and they all went to the local schools. And yep. And you continued to uh, drive a truck, so you were away from home a lot. A lot, yeah. I was only home maybe one day a week. So I always tell my wife, I said we've been married thirty eight years, but I've only been home four years of it. <laughs> Maybe that's why it lasted so long. Yeah. I didn't mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember any particular specific memories of the town of Orange or what life was like back in the 1980s and early 1990s here in this town? Yeah, I, it was just, I, it seemed like it was just everybody knew everybody more. It was close-knit, more close-knit. Mm -hmm. And uh, football was a big thing here, and sports in town, and and you know doing things. They had things to do, but it seems now it, it's more busier. It seems like nobody has the time, you know, like they used to have. Yeah, I was going to ask you, but how does it compare to what Orange is today? Well, today it's just busy if you stand out there on main street i think i heard him say here in town there's seven thousand cars goes down 15 every day you know 24 hour period mm -hmm. i don't know if that was a day or a week but that's that's a lot of traffic mm -hmm. and you try to be in mcdonald's you try to get out of mcdonald's you know used to you just went in and pulled out but now it's uh it's a lot busier yeah now that you retired what keeps you busy here I like watching TV. That's my thing. And then uh, I just mow the grass and just do a few things around the house and do things with the grandkids and uh, with the kids as much as I can. But they got their busy lives, so. Mm -hmm. What do you see the town of Orange being in 20 years, 50 years from now? I don't think it'd be that much more. I I think they just the, the town is only going to grow so much. It hasn't. It has. It's had more things brought to town, more business, but there's nothing in town. You know they want to put everything on the outside of town. They don't want nothing in town. To me, I I think they don't have enough grocery store. I need. They could use another grocery store. But, I mean, it don't have to be in town. It could be between halfway between here and Gordonsville or halfway, you know, to share with other parts. But uh, yeah. there's a lot of people going to Charlottesville one day a week, mm -hmm. and then they just do all their shopping and come home. Mm -hmm. But uh, And the same grocery store, you can go to Madison, and I like that grocery store better. It's the same grocery store. You go to Gordonsville, it seems to be a little better. Mm -hmm. So what could the town do to improve itself now, in your in your view? Well, I think they just, they ought to have more things in town to do. Now, the, having the music on Main Street there, Taylor Park, I think that's a good thing, you know. 
but it could be a little bigger. Maybe go out to uh, uh, out there by the airport, that park, Booster Park. You know, they they got more big pavilions out there. I think they could have use that and have a little more music events and. Mm-hmm you know, get-togethers of some kind to bring people closer together. Anything you'd like to add? No, I just, I, I think, I, the most thing I found when I first came here, everybody was nice, and they still are today. I mean, it's, it's a different type of nice, but uh, Earl's Glass Company was there, I went down and asked the world, I said, Earl, I said, I need to get some windows for the house. Well, how many you need? I said, well, I said, can I get like two or three windows? Then, you know, next month get a, like that. He said, no, just put them all in the house and uh, just make payments to me. And we did a handshake and that was what done. You know, and you buy tires and, and stuff. You could do it on a handshake and make payments, you know, but. Not anymore, you know, you can't. Everybody wants that almighty dollar. Yeah. But that, that's changed a lot. And a lot of them places, you know, are closing up and going out. Right. I think if people just be more honest, nice, I mean, be nice about it, but be more right to the point instead of, mm-hmm. as they always say, stop beating around the bush, just get to the point. I think that would be a lot better for everybody. Mm-hmm.